guys, Justin here from Reaction Brewing. We've got another little unboxing today. We've got a, obviously a Brick Wickman Riptide. No actual other box because I bought it from the local the local brew supply store. Hot craft supply, check them out online. So we start off, we've got some assembly, operation, and maintenance instructions. A little piece of foam. Now we got our pump. So this pump comes on its own little base, which is nice. We've got a pretty long cord here, especially compared to the Pegman that's down there. Mark four, Mark two or whatever my last pump was. So got a real nice long cord. You got your uh, let's move in a little bit. That's way close. You got your tri clamp connection. You got your adjustable your adjustable flow on here. Um, you got your bleeder, primer, whatever you want to call it, bleeds the air out. You got your half, half inch connections. And if we can get this one off over here. Bam, so I believe you can just set these up. We'll find out however you want. We'll take the uh, Try clamp off. So you got probably a three inch gas and tri clamp. Let's pull it off. Looks like you got a little washer you don't want to lose. Little baby, little baby washer. You got your impeller and with the magnet. Let me take this out so I can actually talk. You got your impeller for the mag drive. Just some sort of little case for it. And then you got your mag drive inside of there. So just gotta slide the case in. Slide your impeller on. Put your gasket on. Slide the over the your uh, washer over there. You just slide your pump back together. So it just slides back in. Then you can set your your pump however you want. Throw your tri clamp back on. This is really easy to do while I'm sitting down. Oh, we might have something jacked up. It's not quite. It's not quite sealed all the way. Put the uh, we'll put the gasket right in the gasket hole. Then we'll slide her together. So there is a groove in the, for the gasket inside the head of the pump. There we go. That did the trick. Then you can just line your fittings up wherever you want, tighten down your tri clamp, and you're good to go. 
So that's pretty nice. I like that it's got, this is for the mash ton, you got a nice little Riptide or Blickman sticker on the side there. Uh, power switch on this side. This will be hooked up to my panel. Um, so I shouldn't have, or I should have to be able to turn it on and off on my panel. Um, so we'll be back. It'll seem like it's right away, but we'll be back in a couple days. Throw some fittings on here and we'll see how this thing does. So we'll see you guys then. Hey guys, we're back. We're gonna finish up this little Blickman test. Um, we got the Riptide here. We're gonna hook it up and we're gonna come to my first thing I dislike about this pump, but I knew it going in. Um, I don't really care for non, for pumps that aren't, uh, pumps that aren't center inlet, I'd prefer the pump to be a center inlet pump. It's just easier to hook it up. It's easier to plumb everything, in my opinion. And this is the only configuration this guy's offered in. So we'll get that hooked up there. And then um, chiller just turned on, so that might be a little loud. So we'll let's uh, let's see how she does with the big tubing. I have a feeling that the big tubing might be um, too much, but we'll see. And we'll pull my terrible tubing bands off here. Try clamp from it. Now that we got that hooked up, we're just, I only have 10 gallons of water in here, so we're just going to open the pump. So we got water out of there, but it should air bleed itself anyways. Um, nice long cord on it. That's great. This long cord is fantastic. So there we go. It was all the way in. Um, so that's all the way out. Let me get, let me just get a little bit more water in here so it's above the, uh, and the pump's leaking. That's not ideal. So apparently don't spin all those, uh, speed control all the way out, because then your pump leaks all over the place. Ah, let me get a little more water in here. We'll be back here in a couple minutes. All right, guys, we're back. Go. Come on. Go. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. You want to be on camera? You want to be on camera? Uh-huh. Um, so we're back. So I re my Whirlpool arm a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And uh, the water level is now above the... Um, Recirculation arm or whatever, the whirlpool arm. Come on, go upstairs. Go upstairs, dude. And, uh. So this is a seven gallon, this is a seven gallon an hour pump versus. The Kaglin, uh, which is significantly larger. Uh, is a 13 and a half gallon per hour pump. This one has your flow control on it. And maybe I should probably do like a, that's pretty neat. Um,
do like a separate video comparing them both as opposed to doing it in this video but this was the last pump I did this will be my the Kaglin that will be the hot liquor tank pump the Lickman will be the uh, mash ton pump so it's, it's it's very quiet I have no complaints about the noise they're both significantly quieter than the uh, um, Chugger Max pumps so that's a plus for doing videos so you can hear me so I'll grab the camera we'll bring it in so you can see the whirlpool um, I always do that I always go the wrong way so you can see the whirlpool uh, let me give me one second man this is a terrible video That helps a little bit. You can see how fast it's going. Um, I'll stick my hand in there like I did before. It's a little gentle stream. It's not It's not hardcore like, um, we'll get that a little closer. It's not hardcore like the, like the uh, Keglin was. Keglin was, they had a significantly harder whirlpool than this guy. And this guy but this will be great for a mash ton pump you can control your flow here um you just got to be careful apparently it leaks if you open that if you open that too far it must overextend the seals or something well flashlight still on so anyways that was just a quick little unboxing and setup of how it works um i think it'll be great for the mash ton it's costly. Uh, the Kaglan was quite a bit cheaper, but um, I'll do a comparison video on them both and go over what I like and dislike about them once I get some use on them. Um, I'm st still undecided whether I'm going to put the Chugger Max on my boil kettle or not, so that'll give me a, if I do, that'll let me compare all three of them. Um, so, anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. This little Blickman pump seems to be a, a good pump for for mash tons or smaller kettles uh, it is filling up the three quarter inch line which is that's pretty impressive that it's not having any issue filling that up and still having pressure coming out the coming out the other end so hope you guys enjoy this video subscribe like comment uh, if you guys want to see more um, unboxing more tutorials or whatever uh, we're hoping to get brewing here in the next probably two months again on this system so we'll see you guys in the next video.